Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, I am Megan. If you're new, please subscribe. We do fun nail stuff here. And today we are doing something pretty cool. In my opinion, we are trying Susie's Dragon Skin Nails. If you watch Nail Career Education, you definitely know Susie. And if you haven't seen her Dragon Skin Nails, I will leave the link to that video in the description. It is very cool. Hers are going to be cooler than mine. I could never. Um, but I am going to use my nails to see if I can replicate the look with regular nail polish. So here we go. So of course, before we can put on any paint, we need to put on some base coat. All right, now that that's done, let's talk about colors. For today's nails, we're using Hollow Taco. I'm sure you guys are big fans. If you are not aware of Hollow Taco, definitely check them out. I'll leave their link in the description as well. The first color we're gonna use is Cat's Evasion. These are multi-chromes, and this one is a shift from a red to a yellowish. The next one is Blue Ain't Slick. It shifts from blue to purplish. And then the main one is Mist Shift. It is a green to purple. So these are going to be really good for dragon skin. Dragons come in these colors, of course. Let's start with two coats. Now that we've got two layers of color on, let's go ahead and throw on a quick dry top coat. All right, so now here is the fun science part. I've got this here cat emoji cup with some water in it. And I've got this here dish soap, not like that goes in dishwasher, but like for hand washing dish soap. Um, so we're going to make some bubbles with this. Let's put in some. That's probably enough, right? Maybe a little bit more. It's up to you. It's an experiment. And then I have a fork for frothing. So let's... Let's froth. Okay. That seems like a good amount of froth. I can always froth some more if we need to. Let's set that to the side for now. And then what we're going to need is a paper towel because you're going to need these bubbles to absorb. If you don't have something to soak them up as they slide off your fingers, it's gonna puddle and it's gonna take a long time to dry. We are also going to have to add them one nail at a time because we gotta get it on while this polish is still wet. So let's start with the pinky. We're gonna go, it's, I mean, it's dry from what we put on earlier. We're gonna go ahead and put on another layer of the same color we were using because that is the color we want our bubbles. If we use a different color, then the bubbles may make a different color underneath, which is fine if that's what you want. Um, so you just go ahead and put some on there. Come on, fork. This is apparently going to be a fight. Aha! We've got some. Oh no, they're deteriorating very quickly. It didn't go this quickly on my sample. Mm, we didn't get much. Let's try and put a little bit more and hopefully our bubbles will do a little bit better for us this time. 
I haven't decided if I feel like more soap or less soap or more more polish or less polish is better maybe I'll just hold this here for a moment it's not touching the nail but it is popping Mm, I would definitely say less polish is better. Let's see if we can't shake some more of this off on here. Get on there. We'll just keep adding it. Experiment nail number one, not so great. Let's grab our next color. And we'll do a thin coat and hopefully the bubbles will fall off. I'll shake them off if I must. Um, so let's put this on here. I said thin coat and then look at me trying to drag a bunch. Okay. Come on, soap. Oh no. It's popping in the cup really quickly as well. Get some on there. Ooh, I just touched it. That was an accident. All right. Let's give that a moment. put some more when I did this with shampoo it seemed to have take longer to deteriorate so I don't know what's the best product to make your bubbles out of but it does seem like the more time the bubbles spend on the polish the more it draws it up Let's see if we can put some more over here like surely that's not completely dry yet over here this is definitely an experiment I would have liked some bigger bubbles in here but this dish soap is only making tiny bubbles which is fine I suppose because my nails are very small You know, it, you can't see much. It's not great. So I'm not sure that thin is better. Maybe it's just the wrong kind of soap. I mean, there is some texture that you can see, but nowhere near enough. And you certainly wouldn't want to top coat this. It would be completely gone. Putting a whole bunch on, well, this one's already got some thick stuff, so I don't necessarily want a whole bunch. Let's froth this up again real quick. All right, let's try it. Eh. It's a moderately thick layer. Guess. We'll see. breaking down so quickly and there's a big bubble in there maybe that's the problem when there's a big bubble inside it messes it up we're gonna get this figured out it's a little bit better I wouldn't say it's amazing hmm At risk of completely messing up all of the work we've done let's experiment these were done with just polish let's see what happens if we do base and top coat and if it's terrible I guess we've learned a lesson but you will have learned as well for your time all right so let's do two with this quick dry 
top coat. I'm hesitant about the quick dryness of it, but I don't believe that I have a top coat that isn't quick dry. <laughs> so that is the consequences of what we have. Get off of there. I guess I'll be holding it. There we go. Stop deteriorating so quickly. Oh, big old bubbles. All right, let's throw on some ones with the base coat and see if that's any different. These bubbles, they just break up so quickly and I'm wondering if that's because it's dish soap instead of something else. Have I made a mistake with my choices in the first place? Was this doomed? from the ground up. Mm, I'm not sure that we've made improvements. Perhaps it's even worse. <sighs> like, what is this? What is this peely up stuff? Is this because of that top coat? That's disgusting. I don't like that. Ew. Let's see if I can melt it away with some acetone. I can. At least there's that. But like, ew. So it seems like the base coat was less disgusting, but I don't know that it's necessarily created a better effect. It seems like no. I mean, there's some wrinkling at best. But this is certainly not the same thing. I am no expert, of course, but I'm just going to go out on a limb and say I am not doing this right. <laughs> it seems like I'm definitely not doing this right. I do have another hand. But... I think these are the results. This is what we got, and it's it's not good. I mean, I guess it works as just, you know, a regular. They are still nice nail polishes. They still are multi-chrome. They still are shifty. Like, it's still pretty, but it's not as bubbly as I had hoped it would be. And I don't know if that's because of the soap or too much polish, not enough polish. I don't know. Before we give up, let's do a quick try. On this hand, I've changed my soap. I've got some shampoo, so the bubbles are different. Let me throw on a couple layers of polish and then we'll see what happens. Guys, I've done a terrible thing. I forgot the lid was unscrewed and tried to pick it up. Ugh. That makes me very displeased with my performance. All right, we've got some polishes on. They're dryish. We've got our shampoo soap. It's not popping as fast as the other one. I think that's gonna be helpful. We may have learned a lesson. If you know how to do this with regular nail polish, please leave in the comments, what am I doing wrong? The thing about um, regular nail polish is there's a lot of experimentation, not a lot of tutorial. I hate, I am, I am right-handed, so I'm doing this with the wrong hand and I can't see under my camera very well. So I'm having to do some stuff. All right, okay, experiment number one. We've got some bubbles, get on there. Come on, there we go, I scooped them off. I need more. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Mm. They are drying a little bit quickly now.
Bruh. There is nothing there. They didn't do anything. Why? Why didn't it? It's not dry. Literally nothing. Let's try the top, uh, the base coat. Get off of there, soap. just go to the next nail because that one needs to dry a moment all right base coat don't let us down okay we've got some of that we've got some soap dag nab it and I just like stuck my finger in it I do the scooping method to get it off of here I mean, I guess I'm okay with that, as long as it comes off. Anything? There's big bubbles stuck inside, and I'm thinking that's making it worse. Why is it deteriorating so quickly? nothing <sighs> that didn't do it either so it seems like switching soaps has in fact made it worse that was definitely not a solution let's go ahead and do a little edge cleanup since I guess I'll be having regular multi-chrome nails this is not a win guys you should definitely go ahead and watch Susie's video though because hers was done with gel and it is super amazing and super easy and nothing like this this was terrible subscribe to my channel anyway I know this this showing here has not given you much reason to um, but I do other things and uh, that are more successful and really the whole point of this channel is to learn how to use regular nail polish to achieve the looks that you want to achieve we see all kinds of amazing stuff done with gel poly gel acrylic all that jazz but not all of us use those mediums so <laughs> We do what we can. This hand turned out to be the better hand after all. What a plot twist. Okay. Well, that's it for today. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the things. You know the drill. Um, again, if you know what I've done wrong, let me know and I will give it another attempt. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and TikTok. Um, if I do end up having a more successful result, I will post that photo on Instagram. And then on TikTok, I do post shorter, condensed videos like these and sometimes other snippets from outside of this. Um, but yeah, go ahead and follow me there. Subscribe here. I will see you in the next video. Bye.